seem pretty hyped for this, huh? Oh, I mean, I'm excited. I just want to have a good discourse. You know? Yeah, um, sure. Yeah. Alright, All right, so... Okay, let's, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, where, where do you want to start? Uh, I mean, I don't know, we can start anywhere. Like, you're the one who uh, put up the video and, uh, you know, put up the stream and whatever, you can start wherever there you want. Of course. Call. So, let's start with the olive branch. Right? I think sure, both, yeah. I think we both want to improve education, right? And I, so mm -hmm. I would be in favor of things sure, yeah. like, say, uh, like no homework, uh, better mm -hmm. training for teachers, uh, so yeah. like class sizes, um, Hell yeah. often, like more options, like not just like the like the memorization box, like some people One in chat have like said. I think mean, there's a lot yeah, of ways of currently fixing education, but I think mm -hmm. where we differ is that I still believe in mandates for some mm -hmm. flavor of education. One of these types. Well, yeah, because we have, we have, it appears we have very different uh, sort of perceptions on, on how the state should be involved in these sort of things. Okay, so yeah. give me- And I have a problem with, with a state demanding that children have to go to a school, especially a school system that's deeply, deeply flawed. Um, yeah. So unless the school is perfect, would you, so quick question, would you be okay mm -hmm. with mandates if school was perfect? No. Okay, so then that, that doesn't, so that point doesn't matter. Uh, so- I mean- Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean that point doesn't matter? You said like you had a problem with state mandating like imperfect schools and asked if you'd be okay with the state mandating a Yeah, no, I said especially, especially when they're imperfect. Okay. But yes, I don't I don't really believe the state should uh, or the state has a right to force people to do something um, that is uh, something like education. I think you can make a more salient argument for something like vaccines where uh, it's a viral vector, it's a force of nature that there's nothing that we can uh, really do about that people spread to other people. So I know that the first thing people the to do on this and I've seen this online is uh oh well you, you you would you support the state doing vaccine uh, vaccine mandates um i think that's a really complicated question much more in depth uh, on a larger scale i'd say no but that's because a vaccine has to do with spreading a disease to other people and vaccines are largely valuable not just for the self but for stopping a disease that's killing people i don't think we can make that argument for school and i would disagree i would say that a society where 15 percent of the population not knowing how to read or write in a society where it's virtually like necessary to exist in society i would say that is absolutely atrocious i think that like oh i agree okay so but then, i agree with you okay so if we agree with that then my question is if i do not see any way that we can improve schools to the point where children will choose schools or their guardians will choose schools um depending on like if, if we say the guardians are oppressing the kids as well if people will choose to go sure. to school over literally anything and everything else they can do how can well, we make I mean, that's, school that's literally like, the best i think that's like an uh, like a, a bit of an odd like hypothetical to set up but like but, but, first this, is of all, but this is super necessary but, but, hold right? on a second wait, let's hold on a second let's 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 deal with what you said there so you stated that 15 percent of the of our society being illiterate and whatever um and and i can't remember what the other thing that you said was is really bad i agree with you 100 percent. i just don't think that the solution is mandatory schooling i don't think that mandatory schooling helps at all um i think that uh using that there's 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 so many ways if you can't imagine an alternative way besides threatening kids or their parents to get them to participate in school i think that demonstrates the problem with the schooling system as it currently exists um, school is is like miserable for people, for a lot of people, especially neuroatypical people. And I say this as somebody who um, is not only neuroatypical, but also succeeded very well in school um, and also uh, grew up in like a cult. I don't think that mandatory schooling addresses any of the like meaningful problems that we have with education. All it does is mean that there are punishments for the, for the child and their family um, for not, for choosing to not or deciding not that they don't want to endure that system. Okay. So let's like handle these uh, separately. The first one is sure. that we have a problem with the school system. This. Again, I agree with you. I don't think that's what we're debating on. You said uh, okay. you said that the school is sure. bad for neurodivergent people. I am very yeah, much yeah, in favor sure. of like improving school for people who either think differently or have anything else that makes school harder. I am all for improving it. I still want to mandate them to have school. And I know you said that's that like, this, sure. uh, and so then what I'm asking is how do we ensure that we get enough- Pausing briefly. I want to be clear, by the way, I do come into this with bias because I am in favor of mandatory schooling. I do think that there are a lot of problems with our school system, very severe problems, but I, I guess I've just never been given a good enough argument to convince me that incentives alone are enough to get like kids in school, you know? Um, I think it's possible to fix a lot of these problems while maintaining like the mandatory element. And I'm okay with like severe changes too. Make school days two-thirds as long as they are right now? Fucking cool, I don't know. Start them at 10 a.m. I don't, I don't know. Let's try it. Do some wacky shit. Do dodgeball-based school where all lessons are learned exclusively through the sport of dodgeball? I don't know, man. Why not? Maybe it'll work. Uh, th throw darts at the board. I don't care. 
I'm cool with experimenting with solutions, you know. But I do think that absent some significant changes in our society, the consequence of non-mandatory schooling or non-compulsory schooling, I forget the distinction. Uh, it, it would it would basically just mean um well it would it would mean like illiterate kids i don't know that but that's my opinion Enough of society, i haven't done any research thing. it's like if we have like a portion of society mm -hmm. that can't yeah. read or write yeah. how do we get them to voluntarily choose this like education system or the new one like the good one that we made um over literally sure. anything and everything else they can do yeah I, I mean there's i mean there's tons of ways to do that like literally there's so many there's there's like almost an infinite amount of ways to do that you can uh you can entice them with interesting things stuff like i don't know there's like a million ways you could do this you could offer some sort of um uh, things like i mean one great example is like the free lunches is something that gets a lot of kids to show up to school that's one thing because it addresses an economic issue that prevents kids from going to school it really depends on which part of the school that you're trying or which part of people avoiding schooling that you're trying to deal with so like name you can name a reason why somebody wouldn't go to school and i can try to give you a potential solution for that issue i just don't think that like in the absence of even in the absence of solutions to these individual problems that that justifies mandatory schooling that that justifies using the threat of law or the threat of the state uh against uh to force people who are deeply either suffering in school or who for whatever reason don't don't feel like the school system is ideal for them i think but you that said that, like, but you said that the suffering like and like the the badness of the school is irrelevant to like the mandation of like people going like what if we had like the perfect school yeah, absolutely. we had a million options where like yeah sure like, you like, still don't get to you still don't get to force somebody to do that okay you but don't like get the, to force someone the, the, to go do something like that especially with no reason what reason do you see here's the thing hold on hold on hold on hold on one of the things that's been annoying me about this conversation is that it's presumed that you must force people to go to school. You, there is nothing that says that you have to do that. There's no claim that you have to force people to go to school. Like, what, like, what, what gives you the right? You have to give a reason for why you think someone should be forced to do something. If you are making the argument for why we should force people to do something, you have to give a good argument right, for that. Of course, I don't think there's a good that. argument to force do. people. I don't think it's a good thing to force people to do something that's like quote unquote good for them because i think there's a huge problem with coercing people uh, into sense. like your particular like worldview and i think that there's arguments that can be made i think that there's all kinds of things you can do to convince people that your way of doing things is better i just don't think that forcing them with the power of the state is the answer to that especially in this particular context i think there are places where you could argue um that like force is more justified and i think that we could run down that path like i said uh, natural disasters uh plagues are ones where it's like okay if we don't step in here other people are going to die far beyond this person but that's not the case with school you don't have that impetus okay so here are the two best most basic reasons i can provide for why Sorry. we should do some we should force somebody to go to school all right Excellent. first one Give personal it. betterment if ah. wait is it ready ready if existing in society is uh -huh. like you it is necessary to have a certain degree of skills whatever those skills may be it may be basket weaving it may be hunting it may be sure. reading writing arithmetic any of those things yeah. if you need it to exist in society you probably should know it for your personal benefit ah, no no wait, no no no, no, wait, no 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 i let you talk for five minutes please let me like go, go through it's two points like please god uh so it will help them do better in society and for especially extremely young children where no. these formative years are extremely important I do not think they are personally capable of saying, oh, I will choose just to never go to school, and that's better for me. And I'm, you're saying you can't force someone to do something that's good for them? But we argue, and I'm not going to talk about the... So, I think there are already some problems on both sides of this. Um, so, I think, like, any reasonable person listening to this would understand immediately where the difference is. The difference is that Demon Mama thinks you can get kids to go to school through incentives, and Hans thinks that you can't. That's the that's the actual crux of the conversation here. Demon Mama recognized that early on, but rather than immediately respond to the implied difference, she said that she didn't like the conversation because it hadn't been brought up yet. So she had the opportunity to address that directly, but instead impugn the conversation for not having had that been addressed directly yet, which feels a bit odd to me. Uh, and likewise with Hans, I feel like we're assuming some stuff. We should focus directly on the on the immediate disagreement here, you know? Is it possible to get essentially universal child school attendance without the state forcing you, you know? I guess my follow-up question also to that would be, if you have universal child attendance without the state forcing you, then does it make a difference if the state forces you or not? Because if it's already universal, I mean, uh, 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 
or how close to universal? What's the, what is the acceptable threshold? You know, like how many kids missing out on their education is acceptable to avoid the harm of forcing them to have gone otherwise. Yeah, Dem, so totally different circumstances there. It has to be like a modern industrialized society. Especially since education wasn't as necessary like a hundred years ago, right? What was the average job a hundred years ago? It was like farming, right? Farmers, I mean, it's good if they're educated, but they don't really need to be to do their job. Not to the same extent as modern, you know, modern workers. Nowadays, you gotta, you gotta know some stuff to do any kind of work. You need a bachelor's degree to do, be a fucking cashier. I mean, Jesus. Okay, the blue coin I can't find here. Spray the bookcase on the left in the third floor of the hotel when on your pineapple hunt. Oh, uh, sorry, factory work was 100 years ago? No, I think even back 100 years ago. Hold on. When did farming stop being most common profession? History of agriculture in the U.S. Uh, look, it was still a lot, okay? The numbers are somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, spray... I, I, I think... I think this is... I think... This is the, the, the blue coin I'm missing. Spray the bookcase on the left in the third floor of the hotel and on your pineapple hunt. So, I am clearly on the third floor. Bookcase on the left in the third floor? What is that... Is it, is it in here? This is the room that had the glass and the thing, and I already broke through that. Is there a bookcase here? Well, this is the room that had that poster. We've sprayed through that. We've been there. And then for over here, it's over here. It's in the poster room, but haven't I done that? I feel like I've done that. I'll give it a try. Like the mat, like the the, the the vaccine stuff. But uh -huh. I mean, I think it's a, a poor uh, comparison. Uh, okay, cool. It's a, I would say that in this specific case. Being able to interact with in society in a way that lets you like do literally anything inside of it, mm -hmm. like you can't order food off a menu, you can't do any, mm -hmm. like you can't like uh, get a job, you can't like do hobbies that require this activity. Sure. Okay. And this will permanently like make you worse off. It's like if people sure. don't learn to read until like ten years old, it's harder for right. them to learn to read. So what are we going to do then? We're going to permanently allow people to cripple themselves in terms of their capacity for life because of that. And then the second argument is societal. If society requires people being able to do these things, read, write, basket weave, hunt, and we don't get them to be able to do it, society will functionally collapse because people have zero skills to keep the society functioning. I think those are two very good reasons as to why we should coerce someone. I'm not saying- So again, while I don't necessarily disagree with what Hans is saying here, it just feels like we're putting the cart before the horse because Demon Mama probably doesn't disagree with any of this. Demon Mama is going to respond calmly or maybe calmly, and say, uh, yeah, well, I didn't mean to drop through here. I didn't even... <sighs> They're going to say, you know, um, yeah, well, uh, I, I agree with all that. We still don't have to coerce people. We can do other things, you know? So, like, yeah, you get what I mean forcing someone to school mm. isn't coercive i'm saying it is necessary okay. coercion coercion for the like the good of society for the good of like keeping anything existing so okay. i would ask what would we do for the super young kids for like the three-year-olds who don't want to go to school are they capable okay, have you of ever, wait, discussion? i think three yeah, yeah, sure have you ever talked to a three-year-old yes okay cool because uh i don't know if you know this but like like as a matter of like child psychology like children are actually pretty receptive to new things <laughs> they don't understand the world they naturally seek guidance from from parents but this is like a, this is like a reason like this is discussed so this is so fundamental like we know this is why children are vulnerable to even negative things like abuse and things like that it's because they trust their parents they trust
First of all, three-year-olds don't go to school. Second of all, no. Three-year-olds are curious, but like, if, you, if you've ever taken an unwilling child to daycare, they will throw a fucking fit over it. If a kid doesn't want to go somewhere, like... Like, kids are curious, but that's not like an all-the-time thing. If a kid wants to eat, like, tendies and stay at home, and you're like, oh, it's school time, they're not gonna go like, oh, my desire for knowledge overcomes my tendy lust. You know? The tendy lust is, is like the, the, the eternal. Yeah. Trust the adult figures in their life. And you can, that trust right now is often taken advantage of and used to be really abusive. Second and that includes the school first. system. You can tell a child, hey, we're going to go to school today. Isn't that fun? You're going to meet new friends. You're going to do this thing. And most kids, they're going to go. I don't remember a single time in any of me or my siblings' childhood where anyone had a problem going to school. That were there, it was ever even necessary to issue a threat because we were excited to go there to learn, to have d yummy foods, to meet our friends, to talk to our teacher who we liked. These are all things that can inspire someone, inspire a child to go to school. I'm so sorry, but I'm just not seeing that. Look, I didn't even dislike school. I liked school, but if I had, if there was no like impetus to force me to go to school, I would not have attended anywhere near as much as I actually did, you know? I actually had a pretty great attendance. I was not a school skipper. I was a draw dicks in the margins of my notebook and not listen to a word the teacher said type person, you know? Uh, but if I didn't have to go to school, dude, if my friend, if me and my friends didn't have to go to school, all it would take is one fucking AIM message from them back in higher middle school, you know? One AIM message, you know? Hey, dude, want to just, like, come over and play games tomorrow instead of going to school? And that would have been that. That's it for my grades, boyo. Well, <laughs> it's all over for me. AIM was what people used back then. It, it is. It's... Yeah. If there was no school, I'd be a Warhammer 40k YouTuber. Yeah, but would I have a third of a million subs? Probably not school. I would love to know what the statistics are on the number of times that you have to, the, the law has actually had to be invoked for a child. Now, this is what tends to happen in this conversation, and this happened on Twitter quite a bit, which is that there is a a, a, a sort of switch, that a pivot wow. at, at convenience between like a high school kid or a child that's like three years old. I don't think you have to apply any level of force to get a child to go to school. And if you do, then there's a reason, to, there's, there's probably a reason for it. If a child is screamingly terrified of school, then you can go, okay, maybe school or standard school is not the right answer here. And you can have something else set up for them. Maybe they need a tutor at home because they have special needs. That sounds fantastic. That's but not what abolition. I don't understand. That's not abolition. Wait, that is wait, that is absolutely. Wait, what do you what do you define abolition as? I would I'd be really interested to understand what case, you think abolition is. In this case, is. if you're like a So wait, hold on. When we talk about removing enforced schooling or whatever 99 percent of the time the state doesn't get involved because the parents do it for you parents want you to go every single day to school parents are so incentivized to get their kids to go to school that if you're sick as a kid your parent will still push you to go to school because they're worried that you're faking it you know like even if the state isn't necessarily involved that doesn't mean that the the, the consequences of the mandate aren't still in effect and even if there was no state mandate, what if parents continued to be, like, relentless in pushing you to go to school? Is that also coercive? What if parents are like, I can't force you to go to school, but, like, dude, you're not, you're super giga-grounded if you don't. Is that also coercive? Like, what are the lines on this, you know? Why do parents have that incentive? Because parents generally want their kids to be well-educated, because that means they're likely to live a better life in the future. Sometimes it's for selfish reasons, like, oh, the kid will make money so they can pay for my retirement, and sometimes, oftentimes, parents are just love their kids. I know it's hard to believe, but I do think m the vast majority of parents love their kids, even if they're bad at showing it sometimes. Um, you should remember that poverty is a factor as well. Yeah, of course, and poverty makes this all way more complicated, you know? The way out of poverty often is educations, but poor people are less likely to be able to afford tutors or homeschool, so... ...polishing the concept of, like, a mandated school system. Essentially, you're mm -hmm. saying, we're gonna send a tutor at home. What if the tutor gets there and they say, we don't want to do anything? What, and you say, like, the parents... Again, this is, like, 
explicitly all anecdotal that you said you had a good experience and that you liked going to school. Yeah, I loved it. Okay, cool. A lot of kids do not. A lot of kids yes, I know. hate going to school. And, and here's the second part. Case, they should be forced to on threat of law. Correct, because it is necessary for society. So, excellent, excellent. Uh, all right, cool. So I let you talk for five minutes. Let, let me go. Uh, so, if he, you are saying that kids will willingly go to school if they're... Right now, you say kids like going to school because you like going to school. Orange it needs to be orange. But in, all, it, but in the alternative world that we that you are suggesting, it is not mandatory to go, to, go to school, which means kids can mm -hmm. choose to do literally anything else. And you are telling me, I mean, straight faced, I... that they will choose to go to the school, even a fun school, over doing literally anything else. Consistently, I, mean, dude, I don't education. know. This sounds like a really weird framing. It's like, not the a idea weird framing. A kid, wait, hold on a second. A kid can do anything, literally anything else. Okay, so like, what? They can do that. They can do that now. That can, that can our kids can already do. They're already creature. Like, okay, let me ask you this, just so that I can get clear what you're trying to get at. Let's say you have a six-year-old, okay, and it's time to go to kindergarten, and maybe you get them to go for the first day, okay? Wait, and you wait I got them to go. Like, is that coercion? Can because when parents tell their kids no, no, to go to school, just, wait, no, ask the question. Is when parents tell their kids to go to school, is that coercion? Like, is the parents like coercing right, the kids to go to school? Are you? What, what, what's like, your What's your goal with this? No, it's a it's a serious question. You said we can't coerce. That, that, okay, demon mama, that's a pretty direct question. I don't know. Probably have to answer that. A serious question? Yes. Because it doesn't look like it doesn't look no, like no, it's it absolutely completely but... serious. Okay. So let's say, hold on. When I say you get your kid to go to school, let's say you go, hey, six year old, we have this brand new cool thing called school, and it's really great. You get to go do these things, and the kid goes, okay, okay, daddy, She's okay, not mommy, answering. let's go to school, and then they what go they to school. No? Okay, that's what I was gonna ask you. What if they say no? What do you think should happen? Fucking drag him uh, to school. They, they say, sorry, sorry, buddy. I know you don't want to stay home, but you should probably go. Okay. Sorry, and bucko. Right. And what if they, wait, and what if they, and wait, and what if they say no then? You take them to school. Okay. And what if they? And what if they don't want to get in the car? You pick them up and take them to the car. Okay. So you pick them up. What if they fight you on that? Uh, then if do you, do you beat your kid? Uh, no, I'm not in favor of child abuse. Ah, whatsoever. okay. So what happens if you can't get them to go in the car because they're terrified and they don't want to go to school? You yoink you say, them. Okay, let's wait until tomorrow and let's try this again. And then, or and then tomorrow, they, just... and tomorrow they say the same thing and they keep doing this. This kid never gets an education. Sure. Yeah, that's really challenging. That's a really challenging situation. What do, I, the answer that you have to answer here? I don't have to. I don't have to answer that question. Yes, you do. You think they? No, I do not. You believe they should be forced to go to school. I believe we should seek out an alternative. If a child is terrified of going to school, we should seek out I another way to, to teach them. Excuse me. If a child, yes, by and large, children are. But there are, of course, examples where this is not the case. Largely with people, largely with children who have like severe behavioral or learning or learning issues from from childhood. Those things absolutely happen. So your belief is that you should physically pick up the child, force them into the car, and then what? What right. if they go to school and they're terrified and they're freaking out? What should you do then? I want to know what we your view is. We should have a good school. We should have the... Okay. The problem that I have with this is that, like, this, like, everything is coercion argument, this element, means that all types of, like... It, it, it means that, like, every type of forceful behavior gets reduced to the most extreme fucking hypothetical imaginable, you know? Like, you know what happens 99% of the time when a kid doesn't want to go to school? They pitch a fit in the car, and then they don't want to embarrass themselves when they actually get to the school, so they shut the fuck up. That's what happens, like, almost all the time, you know? And if the kid continues to, like, freak out at school, which is incredibly uncommon, by the way, because even young kids can feel shame, and they do when they act like a fucking petulant child in front of everyone, their friends, their teachers. Uh, and if that happens, like, I guess... Why did I stop there? Um, I guess you can, yeah, you can, like, uh, work on stuff then. But that's, like, vanishingly uncommon. Is there an alternative way that, m that might be better? Like, I, I guess I'd ask, like, what? Have you ever, like, talked to kids? They're stupid. They're not reasonable. You're like, uh, you have to go to school. It's good for your education. They're like, I like dinosaurs. And they shit their pants. How do you argue with that? They're unstoppable, okay? Our superior strength is the only thing that keeps them from overwhelming us. And the superior strength that you possess is your greatest weapon against them. They pitch a fit. You physically pick them up and you bring them to school. They'll be fine. 99% of the time, they'll be fine, you know? They won't be fine if they don't get a good education. I don't think there are any, like, easy 100% outs on this, you know? Is it possible that your kid is, like, super traumatized or whatever? I guess, but if you do that kind of pansy-ass parenting, then, like, your kid's gonna get away with anything and everything, you know? Like, everything. What about, like, forcing kids to eat? Like, what does Demon Mama do when a kid doesn't want to eat the dinner you've made? Do you make them another dinner? Do you let them eat whatever snacks they want? If you're trying to give them a balanced meal and they're like, uh, 
no, I want ice cream. And you're like, no, you can't have ice cream. And they're like, well, then I'm not eating anything, which happens. Kids will do that. I have done that to my parents when I was young. You know what my parents did? They told me, okay, have fun. And they sent me to my room. And like every other kid in that situation, I sheepishly crawled out and I ate the fucking broccoli or Brussels sprouts or whatever. Now, is that like mean? I guess. I don't think the kid should actually be allowed to starve, uh, you know? I don't actually believe in, like, sending kids to bed without dinner or whatever. But you can't let kids walk all over you, because if you do, they'll hurt themselves. Which they, which will happen if you just let your kids eat fucking raw lard every day. Which is what the animals want to eat. Yeah, it's a balancing act. I don't think there's, like, a hard or easy answer or anything, but... As a parent, your role is inherently coercive. You're literally their parent. You you tell them to time. It's time to go to the dentist. That's coercion. You know, it's time to get dressed for this thing. It's that's coerced. Like there's always stuff there that's going to be coerced. Just I don't know. Why do children make everything around them sticky? I hate it because they're fucking disgusting. Because they eat soda. They're little Capri Sun packs. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, they're fucking, yeah. You're not autistic enough for this take, man. Look, I understand that neurodivergent kids have different experiences, but we can't frame the entire conversation around parenting around the assumption that every kid is neurodivergent. This shit is complicated, and it's going to suck no matter what for some people, at least to varying extents. There will always be tough elements of it, because kids can't express themselves. Adults can Adults can explain what they want, what they need, how they feel. Kids can't, so for that reason, there's always going to be some incongruity. Children also don't act out of their own best self-interest, whereas adults, well, sometimes do, you know? Also, you don't have to beat your kids to physically move them. You never have to beat your kids. You never have to hurt your kid. You know you can pick a child up without hurting them, right? Okay? Maybe I'm speaking from, like, large person privilege, but even back when I was 14 and my brother was 10, you can just pick them up under the armpits and just hold them up. You know? Like, you can just do that. You never have to hurt your kids. You should never, ever hurt your kids. You know? Yeah, give them the uppies. Yeah. It doesn't harm a neurotypical kid to raise them as though they're neurodiverse, but it does harm neurodiverse kids to rate them as though they're not. No, that's reductive. If by raising kids as though they're neurodiverse, you mean let them walk all over you? Like, what do you mean exactly? I, I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. What, like, what if you're like, what? Do you, seriously, I need answers. To this. What do you do if your kid won't eat the fucking broccoli? You mean you make chocolate broccoli? True. It's my job to work with parents to answer these questions. Ah, then hecking frogs, you'll agree with me. The answer to these questions is highly contextual and based on a ton of characteristics about the kid that you could never know when making broad statements about how to parent, right? After all, you wouldn't need to be an expert on this if there was a simple answer for all these questions. Yeah, it's always going to depend on the relationship between you and your kid and what type of kid they are and a lot of stuff like that. But even the best, most thought-out relationship between a parent and a child will eventually lead to situations where the kid is fucking stupid and wants to do something bad and you as the parent have to put your foot down. And I think there are good and bad ways to do that. I just don't think we can, you know, we can't, we can't pretend that they're always going to be able to be incentivized into engaging in the best behavior. There's only one blue coin, a single blue coin in this entire level remaining. Let me briefly take a look at this. Hold on. I'm going to make sure it's not one of the Yoshi ones. Give me a second. Hold on. Good school. And if that, ah, okay. And, and if that, so and what if they don't like the good school? Then they go anyway. I'll let them pick the okay, best so, of all the bad and, options. And what happens? And what happens if they really, they don't want to go so bad, they're so terrified that they try to get out of school? What do you think they should do then? Uh, we have, uh, uh, like you have people uh, in this case, we, let, let's let's be let's be uh -huh. let's be anarchist here. Let's say we have a community okay. watch that if they see a child outside of school, they will escort them back to school. Okay, and what if the child says, "I'm not going back to school. That place terrifies me." 
even that, in the perfect school that we system. can get them help we can get them therapists okay that's not an argument for help? no school the, uh, uh, wait hold on a second we're not don't jump ahead to to don't school. jump ahead let don't, don't jump ahead if the end goal is to get people to go to school i don't think that you need a mandatory system i think there are other ways you can do this if a kid is resisting no. to the point of like physical distress i think it's fair to say wow there is something that is terrifying my child and we need to go seek out uh, a way to help them learn a way to a way to get them inspired in learning whether it's to whether we're able to talk them through it with a like maybe a counselor or a psychologist or whatever um or uh or to come up with an alternative way maybe we could do a homeschooling process and maybe okay what if they reject the homeschooling process what if they jump out the window and try and run away every time like, like that's a question like, that, wait wait that's keep, a question for you making wait. this crazier demon Mom. no 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 no, no, like, no 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 we can't we, okay, wait, wait, wait. No, please no, please please wait hold on, hold on hold on hold on please tell me what your solution is my solution there if a child is that opposed to learning then there is there might like i don't even know if there is an answer that anybody can have to that particular situation. therapy we, 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 get them, we, we should get them men's, men's wait sure that's what i said that's not mandatory schooling that's not mandatory schooling you're now offering this conversation also seems to be taking place around the most extreme. Guys, how many people in the school system are so anathema to it that they scream and freak out and like run away and physically can't tolerate it? This has got to be like one in a few hundred? One in a thousand? This has, we're talking about an extreme minority. Now, a ton of kids don't like school, but we're talking about children who are like incapable. It's, it, it's not, I know it's probably more than many people would think, but it can't be that many. Do you not know anyone who would cut school and wouldn't do the work? I knew people who would cut school, and you know why? It's because they wanted to get high with their friends. Every single person I ever knew who didn't want to go to school was because they would, just didn't give a fuck, and they were hardcore doomer, and they wanted to get high with their friends. Those are the people I knew, Okay. And I'm not sympathetic to their- That fucker took my hand! Mine! You don't think this is linked to class at all? Of course, I didn't say it wasn't. But not, like, totally. A lot of the kids that ditched school on my end were rich. I went to Beverly High. You think rich kids aren't cutting class so they can, like, do lines of coke in, like, one of their parents' extra houses or something? And I think those fuckers should have gone to school. Okay, hold on. There are two butterflies out here. Let's make sure... The original convo is about younger grades, not high school. Yeah, but what I'm talking about, how infrequent it is for children to just be incapable of processing school, that's also not very common at elementary school ages, or kindergarten, or whatever, you know? It does happen, sure, but like... Wait, isn't this already a thing? Guys, if a, if a kid is incapable of, like, attending school without having a mental health breakdown, doesn't the state already make provisions for taking them out for mental health reasons? Don't you literally have the ability to skip school for some time? Already? Like, you can already petition this. Then what are we even talking about here? You can give them time for therapy. You can talk to a judge if it comes to that, but I've never even heard of it coming to that. There are medical excuses you can use. Sometimes a therapist note. You can take years off of school for a therapist. Is, yeah, is forced therapy coercion? Maybe. Probably. Okay, it's not... It's not here. Okay, now we check the other Yoshi. It's like you said, parents will put you in school regardless of your sickness. If you're incapable of processing school, if you're, like, having fucking panic attacks when you get there, I don't... I don't think you just keep getting sent there, right? Like, the school will recommend, like, therapy. I, I think the school will work with you. Depending on your age, at least. Or special education. 
it, it this is very varied. We have a very diverse educational system, but you know, my school did not work with me when I was when I was having panic attacks at school. Yeah, do you think like I don't know what age you were, but do you think it's possible that like if your parents had like been along with it, it would have been possible to get like a medical exemption for a year of school while taking time for therapy? Yeah, probably vermin. It doesn't. But isn't it important anyway to go to work to be able to be around people? Yeah, but some people, some people are in a mental position where forcing them to be around others in a school context is basically like torture. I know that sounds really hyperbolic, but mental health is some wacky shit. You know, imagine like. Imagine mental health is like invisible needles in your skin and bones that nobody else can see, and it causes otherwise normal actions to be agonizingly painful, you know? So like, you have like like nails driven up in underneath your fingernails, like you have needles in there, so other people are like tapping their fingers on the desk, like, this is normal, this is fine. When you tap your fingers on the desk, it's splitting pain that makes you want to die. And, like, nobody understands, because they're invisible needles. Nobody fucking believes you. But it's like, they're there, and you definitely feel it. I can totally get the necessity of, like, mental health breaks from school sometimes. I'll never... Yeah, it's totally valid. Um, of course, amenities have to be made sometimes. However, kids also need an education. There's just no getting around that. So... Oh, Dreadmile? Well, I'm glad that eventually it panned out, I suppose. I'm sorry it took a while. No, schools aren't good with mental health breaks. Though... Uh, the conversation about mental health has opened up a lot in the past couple decades, so... Hey, Fortuna. I know your real name. Okay, I don't think it's the Yoshi one. My the solutions, end, no, back no, to no, me. No, 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 The end yes, result yes, is, yes. Is, is getting them into a mental state where they will agree to the mandatory schooling demon mama. That is the end result. Wait, the end wait, that's goal. not the end goal. Yes, no, no, no. It okay, is. So, see, so wait, wait, wait. Then that's where we differ. Then that's where we differ. My end goal Damn is it. not to force it's children into school. One. My end goal is for children to be as, as happy as possible, as liberated as possible, as educated as possible. What if they don't, don't want to go to education? School, every single kid, let's they, say every, kid, every single kid's afraid of the system. Uh, what are we every saying? Every single kid, okay, so if every, kid, if every single kid is afraid of the system, then you have a failed system. And that I, is, and that I, and should I think be discarded if, and, completely. And, 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 cool, and, and, I, and I think if one child is so, like, is, is so, like, scared uh -huh. and terrified mentally that they can't uh -huh. fit inside the existing mandated system. We'll get the, them the assistance they need until they can fit back inside of it. Because we both know this is so wait, far wait, removed oh, from, like, wait. the majority of no, people. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait. So, wait. Well, hold on a second. Hold oh, on no, a second. Well, okay, on a whole okay, this conversation has now officially reached a point of unparalleled uselessness from which no understanding can be reached. At this point, we're now talking about, like, what if every child was giga-terrified and couldn't even, like, fathom the, like, we're, we're really into the weeds now, unfortunately. The fundamental question is this. Can you get an acceptable rate of child school attendance using only incentives? And the follow-up question is, is coercion only state practice, or is it also coercive when the parents try to get you there? Because the way Demon Mom was talking, it seems like it's still coercion, even if it's, like, the parent pushing you to do the thing. You know? Because Demon Mama was talking earlier about, like, the... If you had to, like, fucking WrestleMania your kid to get them to go to class or whatever, so... You know? Um... But we're, 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 we're very in the weeds right now. Hold on. Spray the beach to reveal the blue sunshine shape between a basket and a palm tree. Between a basket and a palm tree? What? This is between a basket and a palm tree. Thank you, Donna. Wait, was that it? Where was the... Where was the basket and the pump?
Didn't you already get this one? I have to make sure. I have to be thorough. All the stuff is on the sand. And clear out these little duders, because the noise that they make when they're hit is the same as the noise when you hit the thing on the ground. In my country, they cut our state given allowance if we miss too many classes and can't motivate why. Yet yeah, paying kids to attend school seems like a good idea to me, right? Like, possibly. Even if it's just a little bit. Like, I don't know. That could be cool. Might be a cool way to, like, incentivize kids. I don't know. Yeah, because it is work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to school is work, undeniably. When you go to school... The only reason public schooling exists is because it's economically efficient for the state to have a well-educated population. Much like child rearing is work, so too is going to school. I think being paid for it would be acceptable. I don't know if you could get paid like a full fucking fifteen dollars an hour to go to school or anything, but definitely some kind of compensation, you know. Is this? Am, am I? Am I? Am I dumb? Am I dead? There was a blue sunshine shape here, right? Looks like you got them. No, even if I've gotten the... Even if I've gotten the blue coin, it should... No! I would definitely get butts and seats. That's for fucking sure. Paying kids for school could incentivize people to have more kids because it would take their wage. No, no, no. You wouldn't pay kids to school so much that it would, like compensate for the cost of raising a child. I'm not talking about a ton of money here. Dude, when I was in, like, fifth grade or something, can you imagine? Yeah, like, getting five bucks to go to school? Do you know how much five dollars was in, in 1999 or whatever? Like, to me, at that time? That's, that, uh, yeah, I would have been a fucking god. I would have been a, a titan. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was fucking Pokemon. That was Pokemon. Okay, I don't know why I can't find this, but I guess we'll just deal with this one later. Spray out another sunshine image by the cannon. By the cannon? Am I dumb? Maybe Genomega. I do think that, like, the... It, it, maybe you could get some good social lessons from, from having, like, five-year-olds with a little bit of money. Like, what harm is it gonna do, right? Like, if you're, like, eight years old and you've got, like, 20 bucks from your week at school? I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, what harm could you really do? Are you gonna continue the debate? Uh, yeah. I don't know why I can't find this shit on the ground. I am at the first stage, right? R right? We'll find out when I go in here. What about free school lunches? Well, that's, like, objectively, factually something we should have, no matter what. For sure, factually. Okay, well, we'll check that later, I guess. Okay. We're gonna look around. I got four, I'm ready. I'm ready. No, no, you're going off on a whole tear. What? You're saying this is I'm going, going on a whole tear! Reality. I spoke for ten seconds! Wait, you, yeah, but you're going, yeah, okay, but going off on a tear is not necessarily about the time, it's about where the hell you're going with the actual conversation. So, if you want to talk about, like, uh, so you've revealed one thing, which is that you've said that the goal is to make them fit back into the school system. I don't think that that's a good goal. I don't think that's a good enough reason to justify, uh, anything. I don't think that something- It's not good enough to justify didn't... therapy, we should just let them be terrified and scream the entire time? What about mandated therapy no. for people who are struggling? Wait, 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 that kid, wait, that kid doesn't no. want to go to therapy, no. Abso Abso Oh, absolutely, absolutely fucking not. No, absolutely so not. You think you should, wait, you think you should just, you think you should just, like, um, like, put someone into an institution just because they don't agree with you or because they have a behavioral issue? Is that what you think? If they you are, think the state if should they force are, kids into an institution? If they cannot function in society, they are a danger to themselves and everyone else. They are running away from their family. Wait. Absolutely use force to get them into an scenario where we can use all the experts and technology we have available to assist them. Absolutely. So, home so. therapy. We can send the therapist to the home. But what if they keep escaping the home? We'll use the community watch to bring them back. If they don't want to deal with the therapist, they don't want to deal with any assistance because mm -hmm. they're so like because they're so sad, so scared. They can't go to mandatory uh -huh. school. They can't deal with regular therapy. They're gonna run away from everybody. Mm -hmm. At that point, yeah, I would probably be okay. 
by taking this child and get and putting them in a place where they can't escape from to get them the help they need. And so like this oh, one super that's... child who like is he doesn't fit inside this like doesn't fit. Inside I mean, that's, like, wait, 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 wait. Before you get any further, that's your super child that you've invented. I I think no, this well, child. No, your is... super child like refuses to go to school. Like why can't the child? No, also my super to go to their child isn't. My my my. Wait, hold on a second. If you want an actual answer to that, I don't think this this imagined super child is is exists or is even common. And I think it's such an outlier. Right. Trying to and the same wait, thing wait, with wait, the kids wait, crying wait, about wait, going wait. to school. Sure. That's not true. No, 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 no. That's not true. I'm sorry. I I I, I have to call you on that. I want you to engage with actual facts on this. How Go many? What percentage of the population? What population of oh, children are like literally feral and will refuse to go to school in any capacity? Wait, we're not what talking about. That's literally we're not what talking. That's literally what you're saying. Okay, like, again, like, this is just getting to the point where I don't think that you actually are interested in engaging in good faith. I think you're oh, trying I, to, I, like... Bad faith. I'm not trying... I'm legitimately... No, I, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hans, Hans. I'm dead serious right now. I, like, this isn't, memeing, this isn't memeing around. Like, I think you're being in bad faith. I think if you... If when I when I try to say, wait a second, I don't think the feral child is a good example for how we should structure a system or why we should justify or not justify using force to force... So... This is just a rhetorical recommendation. I often feel people aren't acting in good faith with me, but I feel like making the accusation will always make you look bad because it always looks like you're trying to avoid something, you know? So I, if you're trying to make an appeal to a person's good faith, I feel like it's often better to make affirmative claims to their behavior rather than imputing negative claims. So rather than say, I think you're not acting in good faith, you can say something like, you know, like you can sigh and say like, okay, I feel like this conversation has gone a bit off the rails. I just want to make sure we're focusing on the right things. Uh, that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But like you can, you can try to get like the same, like directional. No, I don't want to. God, no, let, let me off, let me off. I can't even stop the... I don't think that Hans is acting in bad faith. I think that Hans is incredulous. Which isn't the same thing. Incredulity can sometimes cause people to act in unserious ways, but it's not a fundamentally, like, bad faith type of behavior, you know? Hans is also Joker smiling this entire time. So... I, I come into this bias towards Hans' perspective. However, he he has been joker moding a little bit lately. I worry that he's coming into this conversation as looking for disagreement in, in in not the most conducive way, if that makes any sense. Um Okay, we'll use this one because this one just let this one lets me in. It's it's not yeah. Anyway, I know that because I've had those moments myself. It's difficult to describe, okay? It's like the debate bro fervor. And um, this is something I've done as well, okay? The debate, the debate, it's like fucking lycanthropy, okay? It's like some shit that's in our blood. But the basically, sometimes when you're having a conversation, hey, Demon Mama, sometimes when you're having a conversation and you disagree with somebody and you feel their points are super bad or whatever, okay? You smell blood, all right? But you're not actually smelling blood in the water, okay? You're smelling the own blood in your own body, pumping your heart out. You're, it's your own bloody rage, okay? And you go full fucking Joker mode. And from that point forward, everything that you say, everything that you speak, is like this feral effort to try to maximize the the dunk that you're setting up for, you know? And when you go deep enough into this, like, eventually, like, if you do it bad enough, if you succumb to, like, the bloodlust, every word out of your mouth is some, like horrible misinterpretation of what your opponent has said in an effort to dunk on them. You know what I mean? That's like the end state. That's like the fine. It's like the when it's like fatal, you know, fatal levels of lycanthropic debate bro bloodlust. And I don't think that Hans is at fatal levels here, but there are times in this convo where it seems like he's like taking a lot of pleasure from the disagreement in a way which I think might not facilitate the best mutual understanding. Does that make sense? Oh, hopefully that makes sense. People to go to school, and your response is, well, ah, feral child! No, I was just about to talk about the, the, the fact that, as it turns out, 
and you should engage with this. I would encourage you as a as a, a colleague and as a, on a, in a genuine. I'm engaging. Uh, I'm engaging. I'm listening. Excuse me. Hold on. I'm not. I'm not done with my sentence. Okay. Um, that you should go and look at what the actual situation is as to how people feel about and are traumatized by and hurt by schools. Because I can tell you right now, it's not all butterflies and rainbows, as you seem to be like sort of laughing about when you refer I, to this feral child. I children are. There are a lot of children who I hate deeply schools. suffer. And I, I excuse me. Excuse me. Fair. I'm not finished talking. I would love to finish my sentence, but. All right, like I can see, I can see where you're at with this. Like, I, I, this is why I said on Twitter that I felt like you weren't engaging in good faith because I really don't feel like you are. Okay. I feel like you I have get, your position. I, I can tell you. I feel like you have your the, position, and you actually aren't. I, I don't think you're willing to engage. No, 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 no. I don't yeah, think you're yeah, willing. I told you all the I don't think you're willing to engage. How they approve the school system? But like, if we have the ultimate school system, and the kids are mm -hmm. still doing this, they still did what you said. Again, you started the super child meme, sure. not me. This kid. No, refused. you asked me what about a child who refuses to If we had to go to school, like. Excuse me. Excuse me. You, you're, you're prescribing me things I haven't said. First of all, if we had the perfect system, I still don't think it would need to be mandatory. I think you could get near to or almost, or, or literally 100% attendance without ever using mandatory oh, measures. I genuinely believe that. that. I think that's very possible. Absolutely fucking insane. I'm well, really that's sorry. fine. But that's that's fine. You continue you can, tell. Wait, wait. You no, can. No, no, you can no, call no, me. No, no, wait. No, 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 no. I want you. I want you to explain this point. I, I, I'll let you talk on this first. All right. Ready? Okay. Explain to me how we can make a system where school or education is so appealing that children will choose it over literally everything else in society. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure, for sure. Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super easy. So if oh, you it is. Have, if you, so, yeah, yeah, wait, if you're, you're trying to say that why I think that that's the case. I think kids like learning. And actually, it's funny because um, if you, again, if, you, if you're willing to actually engage with this in good faith, you can go and actually listen to the professionals on this. Professional educators know that kids love learning. Hell, we've had massive, massive improvements in literacy and in, in general education since the introduction of computer technology because you can gamify things. So, I see. And, I see. And, so, and, so, and so the math, so meme, so, meme. So the math game. That was some, some of my chat like yeah, posted. I yeah. had to make sure I wasn't a bad. Name. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. So, yeah. It, so the, the math games Sick, are going to be more fun than everything Sick, else. Bro. Like enough that the child will choose to pick the math game. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. If they're not. Maybe. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. If they're not. If they're not. Then make them better. Then do better. We should turn to this. We should turn. Here's what what I'm saying here is we should turn to these things instead of forcing a child. If there's something that you have to force a child to do, like for example. Uh, here's an example of something I think you might actually have to apply force to a child to do. If a child has a cancerous tumor on their neck and they're running around, you're like, we need to get this looked at and they won't go in. You might have to take that, take that, bite that bullet and say, yep, we got to force this kid to go get that taken care of because it's going to kill the kid otherwise. There you go. I would be so much more open to that. But I think that should be used as a last resort. And in, in reality, I don't think we have to use force n n near to as much as we as we do right now. I think. Again, this isn't so much about like the debate tactics or what. I just, I will never, I, I cannot fathom agreeing with this. Like the, it, the, the problem I have is like, Demon Wild is like, um, if the math games aren't good enough to get people to like pay attention to them over everything else, then make better games. Well, like what, what if learning is just boring sometimes? You know, and that we're we're not just talking about like cool games or whatever. Like I don't know, you can gamify education. I'm totally in favor of that, but. If you, there, there are limits to that, and there are people who to whom that's not even going to appeal. Like, educational games are fun for me, but check behind the Ferris wheel. Yeah, shit. Hold on. Educational games are fun to me, but some kids are just not going to be a, like you know. Some kids just want to like I don't know, smoke cigarettes or whatever. So. You don't have to use force even if things aren't immediately fun. Yeah, I just. Yeah, I just don't care. I don't think it's a moral wrong to, like, force kids to go to school or whatever. I think you can do things to improve outcomes within those margins, but I think the kids are dumb as fuck and they don't really act in their own self-interest. Not to an acceptable degree. I'm just thinking of all the shit I would have gotten away with. Like, with my parents, you know? Like, if my parents were like, yeah, you know, uh, you only have to go to school if you want to. I can just, man, well, I would have been a lot better at video games. Uh, than I am now. That's for sure. I definitely would have got more practice in. I would have studied something. What, what was I playing back in those days? I was playing StarCraft 1 on the Nintendo 64, and hello, beautiful! We totally should gamify education, though. Fuck, how do we reach that? Sound like they have to make literally hundreds of different games to appeal to every child. Yeah, also, just like a lot of kids just don't give a fuck about learning, you know? Like eating healthy food. Maybe, maybe Demon Mama. Oh, well, the problem is, like, Demon Mama, maybe I need to see the right arguments, but the conversation you had with Hans here is fucking worthless because you're not discussing, like, the likelihood 
uh, of children being able to reach these outcomes without coercion. Convo keeps getting dragged away from that. By both of you, uh, frankly. May maybe more by Hans than you, I think. Yeah, maybe. Um, but still. And I don't think I'm going to be moved on that either. Um, I, I just don't know. I don't know if I could ever be moved on that. This is like Kamala Harris cackling at parents being jailed for student delinquency. Well, this has... Well, hold on. You're introducing, like, an emotional element to it. Cackling. Like, the evil... Per, the person laughing at the suffering. We're not talking about that, okay? Also, do keep in mind that a lot of, um... Like, child delinquency is a product of, like, negligent parenting. You know? Um... You know, like, sometimes there are, like, sad story cases with poverty and shit, but sometimes parents just don't give a fuck. Have you guys ever had a friend, or maybe this was you yourself, who had parents who were just flatly not present? Like, negligent to the point that, I mean, the house just piled up with trash, the parents were barely taking care of themselves, and their kid has to, like, navigate that? If those parents got, like, in trouble for that behavior, like, I'm not gonna shed a tear over it. Of course, that usually means the kid's life gets rearranged, and that's the bad end. But on the flat end of things, the idea of the state using force to get kids to school and parents to, you know, take care of their kids, eh, I don't have a problem with that, necessarily. This entire convo ignored the idea that parents can prevent their kids from going to school. Y yeah, yeah, because of course there are exemptions currently in the system that allow for this. Well, Demon Mama, not all kids like learning. And also, not all kids like learning the things that you have to learn, right? I mean, maybe some kids like learning astrology or astronomy or whatever, but that doesn't mean they're going to like learning history, social sciences, mathematics, English, you know, proper verb conjugation, Spanish. Like, there's always going to be something, right? I've smashed through the police. Don't worry, we smashed the police station down. Let's go to Noki Bay, huh? woo -hoo! Oh, we didn't even do the eighth... Okay. Some kids like to learn, you know. And even the kids that do like to learn, there's only some stuff they like to learn. Also, there's the whole learning versus studying thing. Like, guys, how many of you like learning in the sense that you like watching Veritasium and three blue, one brown videos? Raise your hand. Okay, now how many of you think you would enjoy studying content like that for years, such to the point that you could pass, like, a high-level, like, class about it? Pro prob probably less of you. You know, there's a big difference between, like, enjoying the entertainment value and, like, okay, here's the quadratic formula, time to... <laughs> time to memorize it, stuff like that. Gayfesh, modern education does suck, but it seems like gigacopium to me to be like, yeah, dude, if we just fixed education, all kids would like school, and they would just learn stuff, and you never have to force them. That seems like copium to me. That that seems like the socialists who are like, yeah, dude, you know, if we, if we, like, <laughs> if we abolish capitalism, then, like, everyone will just do the work they need to do. Like, no big deal, you know? Like, well, that would be nice. I wish I could believe that. Don't know if I do. What if your assumptions about kids only going to school through coercion and not being intrinsically motivated could induce self-filling prophecies? I, I I need to move past this because we have to finish the rest of the debate, which is almost done. But I I think you're like delusional. I'm so sorry. The idea the idea that the an unfathomable amount of education that people need from a young age being delivered to children, not people with fully developed prefrontal cortexes, children who will throw fits because their ice cream is the wrong color or because their pants were on inside out, but they weren't, they were actually on inside in, outside in, and they didn't know that the button was on that side all the time, th that they would do all this without at least being pushed to by their parents, to me, this is, like, fantastical thinking to the extreme. Uh, I, I mean, that would be amazing, you know, if, if, that, if that could actually be the case, but I just do not...
Yeah, Demon Mama. I'm not opposed to like changing our school system or finding ways to educate outside of that. But we're talking about we're talking about something that has to encompass the needs of hundreds of millions of people. It, we we can't we have to talk about something workable, something enforceable. We, you don't want enforcement, I suppose, but the modern economy, modern society is predicated on everyone being exposed to a base level of education. Am I really willing to trust theoretical models? Muscle Mommy, if you're a socialist, you really shouldn't be idealistic about human nature. Do you think socialism will work just because humans are nice? Humans are barbaric, okay? Socialism will work not because we're nice, but because we're programmable. Humans will meet the incentive structures that are built for us. That works under feudalism, capitalism, socialism, fascism, communism, everything. Okay? That's all we need. It's not about us being good. It's not about us being nice. It's not about us being kind-hearted or willful. It is exclusively about us being vulnerable to social pressures. A form of coercion. You can make nice people out of that, but... I think if you just let kids run around on their own, they'd all turn feral and start biting people, you know? All right, let's finish this debate. I know, Demso. Socialism is just removing negative coercion, right? Not even. You can never remove it entirely. You can mitigate it, though, and I think that would be good. Also, none of this is negativity, by the way. You feel bad about this? Which is more doomer, by the way? Which do you guys think is more doomer? That humans are naturally good, virtuous, and self-interested in a positive, socially beneficial, altruistic way, but society is so hellish that we've been kept from acting that way for 10,000 years? Or my version of things, which is that humans are brutish animals, but we're programmable, and we've built a society through sheer force of will that programs us to act more or less altruistically. Now, to me, the latter one is way cooler. We could have just been animals, but we were able to exploit our programming in a way that incentivized better behavior. I think that's nice. False dichotomy? Well, obviously, I'm only positing two ideas here. But to me, I like the latter. Yeah, but which one is true? I don't know. You can go look at tribal humans and ask them what they were doing to each other and then question whether or not you think humans are naturally nice. Humans are naturally self-interested, hence the incentive structures. There have been brutish, genocide-enabling authoritarians throughout history, and there have been incredibly altruistic, kind-hearted Good Samaritans. It seems like there's a lot of variety, and a lot of it comes down to basic psychiatry, and our vulnerability to social pressures. I don't think any of you are inherently one thing or another, you know? You are what you make yourself, and what other people make you. So surround yourself with the right people. Oh, uh, weren't we? The reason we use force now is because it's, it's uh, deemed as expeditious to a specific end and because, well, as it turns out, if you mandatory, if you make it mandatory to go to school, you can push it off onto individual responsibility to blame people for when the system fails them. That's why I think we use force. I think you can build a system that uses no force and would, uh, would achieve close to, if not 100% attendance by actually choosing to actively pursue things that aren't force and, uh, and pursue force only as a truly last effort. And cool, I, I said, and you seem to take a lot of issue when I said use force as last effort with the super child who like cannot function in society, they're willingly uh, making choices. Yeah, because you said that they should be institutionalized. Them, like, to get the help so they need, absolutely. If they're a danger to themselves, right. they're a danger to everybody I don't, else. I, like, well, then I guess you and I just have different positions on on on. No, but this is the last use of force. Of, what, of what, if, what, what if they're gonna you know, what, uh, what if they're gonna Roblox themselves? Like, would you be okay with force then? I mean, me personally, I would. Well, you, I would take. What do you me, mean? Hold you on a wait, 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 wait! Whoa, whoa! Don't, oh, wow! We're gonna do the performative thing. Let's do it. Uh, All right. I, yeah. Listen, you want to hear? Yeah, me personally. If my kid was gonna, if my. Okay, hold on. You're both being performative, intentionally or otherwise. Uh, I don't think that's a one or the other thing. Th that that ship sailed a long time ago.
person, if my child was going to like kill themselves or was eminently in physical danger, then yes, I would tackle them. I would be like, look, let's get you out of the danger. I know you'll see through this on the other side. And what about other people's kids? Would you force them? Would you? No. Like, you wouldn't it's, let this. No, it, you wouldn't let the state take children from parents when the kids say they're going to kill themselves and the parents aren't doing anything. You're really going to let that happen? Really? Wait, that's that's what you're dying on right now? Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You're saying that, it, like, are, are we talking about like a, like a, like an idealized world? I obviously think that right now, in our current state of affairs, it's probably a good thing if a child is completely isolated from the rest of society that we have a mechanism in place by which they can get out of that. But no, no, no I don't no, think. No, no, I don't believe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you have. Wait, a mechanism to get out of that? Does, does she mean suicide? Is that? That's not. I don't think that's what she means. To let me let, finish. If you go, ask me a question, no, me, no, 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 no. You're, you're I will stop it. Wait, Hans, you're Hans, you're, 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 I will stop right now. You're, you're, if you're I mean, going to do you're, this, you're I will allowed, stop right allowed, now. You're allowed to run away, that's okay. Bruh, but like, bruh, but the, but the, I will stop question, right I, now. I haven't raised my voice like that. All right, this is easy. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, this is, this is easy. Right, yeah, so, no, because, so, you, so because so you're talking over You literally need to let me finish on this. You asked me a specific question. I will not. And you didn't I will not do this. I will, I will not. The question was, the question was, if your kid is going to Roblox themselves, will you stop uh -huh. them and institutionalize them? And yes, you said, I would. And you said yes for them. No, 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 if a kid indicates that they're feeling suicidal to like a teacher or to a therapist, then usually there are mechanisms that that invoke. I was trying to. True, Demon Mama. Though you did, in my opinion, came off a little bit evasive because you didn't answer it directly. You talked then about like the well, of course, in an ideal society, I X or Y. This is a concern. See, I think you would think this is performative or bad faith, but this is what my mind would jump to as well, right? If the state can't stop parents from not forcing their kids to go to school. Can the state not intervene when a child is suicidal, but the parent won't help? That seems like a logical extension to me. Like, in both cases, the state would have to crash into a family to... Uh, wait, ask me that again? Sure. Demon Mama, do you think the state should be able to intervene uh, in a child's life and institutionalize them if they have a, 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 a suicidal threat for themselves? Like, if they find out, like a teacher finds out or whatever, I mean, I'm not saying we should have telescreens in every house right now. Institutionalize, no, intervene, yes. How do you, how do you intervene then? Okay, sorry. By institutionalize, I don't mean put them in a mental health facility. I meant like, you know, when they get those, you're in the hospital for a couple days. I know those don't tend to work that well as well. Three day hold, yeah, like a three day hold or something. I, I, like, how do you intervene then? Okay, the shells, red coins. I need that. And then the gold bird of Noki Bay. Okay, the shells, red coins. Okay. Well, that's not how we intervene now. Well, no, right now, don't we do like the three day hold, right? Like, you get taken to the hospital. The way I understand it, I've had this happen to friends, but not to me. Uh, is that if you're feeling suicidal and 911 gets called on you, the police cop knock on your door, then they batter and ram it down, and then they carry you kicking and screaming over to a stretcher, and then you're brought to the hospital where you're charged $3,000 for three days of, uh, uh, for three days of doctors staring at you or something like that. Now, this is not the best system. Uh, oh, is that statewide? Oh, was that statewide? I didn't know that. Um, okay, a lot of lot of variety there, you know. A lot of lot of variety. You keep defending broken systems, though, Vosh. Every system. You're never gonna find a not broken system for these standards. Can you think of a perfect system for preventing human suicide? Come back to me, God, when you've found a solution to that one. Sorry, there. There are always going to be, like, tough edges on this. And at the moment, like, people do kill themselves day in and day out. So if all we have are perfect systems, we have to know how to address them here, right? It's also a perfect system to just fucking ignore them, right? Like, is your system, like, like oh, whatever, they're fine. Like, is that not also a broken system? So which question am I answering? Demon Mama, 
what do you think the state should be allowed to do if they find out that a minor uh, is at risk of taking their own life? Okay, I can't do this way. Can I go around that edge? That feels like it's not fast enough. Make suicide a sin? Well, people who kill themselves already go to hell, right? In, in the Catholic and the Christian religion, so that's, that that angle is already covered. We need more than that. Isn't there a turbo nozzle? Is it here? This is the hover nozzle. Look, let's just get the, the, the shine sprite first. We'll worry about the, the, the other stuff later. It'd be cool if our systems were okay. Okay, but that's not an answer. If, if, if the alternative is doing nothing, like that's worse, right? Like doing nothing is worse. It's easy to just fold your arms and go like, well, the system's not perfect, so I don't care. But like, I don't know. Seems kind of cringe. Would you never go to a hospital because hospitals are fucked up right now in America? But the system is doing nothing. I actually don't have the data on that. Does do what? What is? What are the effects of those stays? I know they fucking suck and they cost too much, but I wonder. Like, does it actually reduce suicidality in any way? It definitely prevents suicide right then and there because you're in a hospital. You can't kill yourself. Uh, but does do the do the numbers just like rise back up to what they were before? Afterwards, like as soon as you're out of the hospital, or is it enough of a like shock? your constitution to to dissuade you from future attempts. Gotcha, Lava, gotcha. Find the research? This seems like a tough thing to study, but I would be interested in knowing the answer. God, where where's the shell? Oh, there's the sh God damn it. Son of a bitch. I believe there are a million better ways to address youth suicide before involving the state. Governor Kurtz says, really, the state should be able to assist parents in ensuring the child is safe. Don't think that ever, most of us are to actually look into it. I think we should avoid actual duress. Yeah, Demo, again, you're telling me what you wouldn't do, not what you would do. You're saying that you're okay with the state assisting parents? Like, okay. But, like, what do, what do you mean? Like, you're telling me you don't want coercion. I knew that, but... We can talk about this in the future if you want to. I understand this shit's complicated and that text isn't the best format, but, like, it, it seems like this, the specifics on this, like, it's, it's not just, like, what you wouldn't be willing to do, you know? There's always going to be... Yeah, because yeah, most suicidal shit is super spur of the moment, so I can understand that being thrown into a hospital bed for a bit would stop the suicide attempt, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, couldn't you solve that same thing by, like, jumping in and bludgeoning them? Wouldn't that stop most, like, suicidality, right? Like, unironically. If, if there was, like, a hotline you could call, and you're like, hey, my friend's, like, thinking of suicide, and they're, like, on the way. They drive over there with, like, a big billy club, and they, like, kick down the door, and they thwack you, and then run off. Is anyone gonna kill themselves after that? What if they're dressed in a uniform? Unless it killed them? What if it's, like, Okay, maybe it's not like a billy club. Maybe it's like one of those rubber foam baseball bats. Is anyone going to commit suicide after being rubber foam baseball batted by a guy dressed up like a English Bobby? No. The answer is no. I don't know. I think I'm onto something here, guys. I'll kill myself later. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'd have to do the math. Let's wash, let's traumatize people further, that'll prevent suicide. Oh, are you that humorless? Oh, oh, okay, come on, come on. Was that an unironic message? Maybe, maybe I'm the one being humorless and that was an ironic message. Eh, could be. Hard to tell these days. Many such cases. Sweet. It was ironic. Okay, sorry, Dreadmon. Then in that case, guys, I was the one being humorless. My apologies. Cancel culture. You know how it is. Bad Canary, that's not... That's not what a... 
That's not what a grifter is. Posting shit to Destiny's community doesn't make you a grifter. <laughs> means you're associated with Destiny's community, which is far worse. No, it, it doesn't make you a grifter. Whatever whatever opinion you might have of Hans, I don't think he's a grifter. I unironically got pissed off at someone so much I stopped being like borderline Roblox depressed, depressed so the thwack thing might work out. No, that is like unironically true. I think that, I think anger is actually a really, really, really effective suicide prevention tool, right? Isn't, doesn't, I know anger is not generally a healthy emotion, but like, doesn't anger kind of blur out all other feelings? Oh, we'd have to... Yeah, it's specific, Steam Lava. Sometime in the future, I'm, I'm open to talking about it. Try to avoid blood. Vosh, that was bad. No, no, no. Like, unironically, right? Doesn't... Isn't, isn't anger kind of like a short-term self-destructive fuel that can push you through situations you otherwise wouldn't survive through? I, like, pardon me if I'm reaching beyond, like, favorability here, but I'd be willing to bet a ton of Jews made it through the Holocaust out of spite, you know? Well, sure, Demon Mama, but you can S specifics your way, like, fractally without ever getting an answer sometimes. Wait, why are you, like, question my- Wait, do you guys seriously not think there were survivors who were making it through every blighted, miserable fucking day simply because they were waiting? to see, like, their captors shot in the back of the head by allied forces? Do you not- I- no, no, I don't know this for a fact. I've never read into this, but something tells me, and I would be very, very confident this is the case, that, like, the- that uh, many of them were just being perpet- that's spite more than anger? Okay, they're adjacent, you know. They're, they're adjacent. Yes, yeah, sir, political banana. Well, I mean, obviously, it's something that we need to work on our treatment towards. Okay. Head to the area at the base of the cliff. Interesting. Okay. This is a secret shrine of, of shine I've never gotten. Yes, but it's also bad. Surviving out of spite? Isn't that better than dying? That's probably better, right? I, no, I, no, I, I get, I get that demon mama. It just, it feels like this kind of like idealism just reminds me sometimes of my conversations with like some political groups I don't like very much. You know what I mean? I like practical solutions, even if they're disappointing sometimes, and. It just seems like sometimes people are so idealistically attached to, like, an understanding of the world, they lose sight of reality, you know? When I talk to tankies or woke skulls or something, sometimes they are so ideologically driven towards a certain outcome that it feels like they're ignoring, like, shit. So to me, like, with respect, the belief that children can handle their own education without coercion is delusional to the, to the furthest reaches, to the greatest hyperbole. Now, Demon Mama, now you're representing me, misrepresenting me. I never said you were a tanky. Chad, did I say that? No, I didn't. Don't do the Professor Flowers thing where I say her rhetoric is Hitler-esque and she's like, well, you call me Hitler. Anyway, to, to me, it just, it frustrates me a bit because it feels like I'm arguing against, like, religious fervor sometimes. Um, now, without having done more research in this, I, I can't... Like, I want to learn more about this stuff on its own, you know, on the, on the face of it, but... Um, that's definitely, like, a vibe that I get. I can understand some frustration. No, we shouldn't debate from chat. The U.S. Department of Vets Affairs have been able to reduce the number of in-hospital suicides from 4.2 per 100,000 to 0 0.74 per 100,000 emissions on mental health units, an 82% reduction suggesting well-designed quality improvement initiatives can lead to a reduction in the occurrence of these tragic events. Well, that sounds good. You talking about this in Osario where Demon Mama can't speak is fucked? Lucid hominid! You're about to get fucked by the banhammer, my dude. I've seen you in chat. I peep. I know all, okay? Demon Mama talks. I respond. Jesus Christ. Is fucked? What do you, what, what, what do you think this is? It's fucking abuse? Holy shit. I'm just talking. I'm, I'm playing Mario, okay? God.
Jesus. I see you. All right. Now we're getting a lot of blue coins. Let's go. Responding to Chatter's abuse. <laughs> Only when you do it the way I do it. Okay, which of these is going to get me the most coins? Probably... The Ely Mouth Dentist, right? Right? Because there's a ton down there. I don't really want to have to fight the eel again, though. There's blue coins in the shine area? In, in, in the Ely Mouth Dentist area? This one? Oh, I guess I could just do the red coin fish, right? Because it would have all the same coins, right? Yes, that is true, Demon Mama. All right, look, I'm going to finish the rest of the debate. If we talk about this in the future, it'll be over voice. I do agree, however, that any text-to-voice conversation is going to be like. All right. It was a state doing that to other people's children if the kids Hans. going to Roblox themselves. It's a yes Hans. or no question. Hans. First of all, you, like, I'm, I'm actually done with this. Like, this is, we're not going to continue with this afterwards. Like, I'm actually done. And consider this a serious mark on our friendship. Because I think this is remarkably ridiculous. Oh, I know, Demon. First of all, I, you asked me two different questions. The first Rats, time you said, would I personally tackle my child if they were in physical danger? Yes, I would take that onto myself. I would take the risk of harming, of potentially harming my child physically under my own, under, onto my own hands. And if I hurt them in the process, that would be my goddamn responsibility because I chose to, to intercede, inter, uh, intervene there. Then... Yeah, tackle your kids for fun. Wait, 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 save their life? What? Just challenge them to physical contests and flex on them constantly. It's good for character building, you know? Box. I boxed my dad. Didn't always win. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeet them, kids, for sure. Ye ye yeet us. Um... I've told this story before. Did I ever win? I am much stronger than my father is now. And back then, I was stronger than I am now, so... I've said this story before, but like, for the longest time, my brother, he would, um... He would arm wrestle me, right? Uh, and he'd always lose, because he was four and a half years younger than me. He'd always lose, you know? But, one of the days, I decided, hey, I should probably go get a higher education. I went off to college. And in doing so, uh, you know, I was committing myself to years away from my family. My brother challenged me to an arm wrestling match right before I left. I mean, this was the last day I had in Los Angeles, you know? And he won. It was the first time he had ever won. But he played enough baseball, and I had been slacking enough, he was finally able to overtake me and beat me in an arm wrestling contest. And man, you should have seen the look on the kid's face. He was so fucking happy. And he was happy because I never patronized him before by letting him win, you know? None of that, oh, you're stronger than me bullshit, you know? He, that was his first time ever beating me. And uh, and, and he felt great about it. And it looked like he felt great about it. I didn't, I didn't ask him condescendingly, oh, do you feel good now that you've finally beaten me? But I could you know, see that he did. Now I have to go back and fuck him up. Oh, oh, I'm when I next see my brother, I will of course destroy him. Uh. No. No, no, no. Okay. There we go. We're not done after this debate, by the way. We're still going to go over the hemed Professor Flowers one. If you guys thought, if you guys thought this was just going to be a little fucking eight-hour stream, no, 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 no. I have to compensate for two missing days and for missing tomorrow, because uh, there's no fucking way I'm going to be able to stream tomorrow. Got to catch up on all this shit. It's so trash. I love trash. Feed it to me. What about that person tomorrow? We'll see. We'll see. Um, where was I? What was I? Uh, what was I saying? My brother beat me in arm wrestling. 
Oh yeah, I never patronized him by giving him a cheap, fake victory. I don't do that with uh, the girls either, you know? You should never, okay. Fellas, don't patronize your dames, okay? We know you can crush them in an arm wrestling contest. Almost always. Do it. Win. But be careful. I saw that one video once of uh, the guy arm wrestling the girl and the girl's arm broke. And that was not great. Yo oh, what the fuck are you? Why would you say that? Yeah, the noise still haunts my memories. I remember that. That dull snap of her arm shattering. You guys saw the video, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, the people in chat, they know. Yeah, they know. Girl handled it pretty well, by the way. But what'd she say? You fucking broke my arm? I don't even think she screamed. Dude! Dude, you... Are they still together? I don't know shit about that video. All I know is, uh, one of them was stronger than the other. All I know is that one of them needs to drink more milk. That woman's bones should not... Okay. Yeah, that, that, those, those bones snapped with unnatural ease. Now, what are we doing? Just very, very slippery. You just, about five seconds ago, changed the question. When you said, no, wait, the question I asked you was whether you would have them institutionalized. And you never said that in the first situation, nor did I ever do that. This entire conversation right, let, has let, been let, you. Let, Excuse let, let, me. Let, 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 I'm not even. Let, let, Hans, I'll, I'll, I'll give are you for real? I'll give that to no, you. I'm, I'm done. I, I, Hans, I, I, I literally. I think what I, I, think what I said uh, was about like whether Hans, or not you would stop. Are you for real? But, but then you asked. But then I asked, Hans, would you stop other are you people for real right from now? doing this? It's, it's Hans, is this, is this, let, let, is this let, really? Let's not even talk about institutionalizing. Let's Hans, talk Hans, about Hans, stopping Hans, like the Roblox Hans, thing. Hans, Hans, I'm done. This is disrespectful and stupid. Okay. And I mean that. Like, I mean that on a very real way. Like, I came in here totally ready to have a serious, to have an actual conversation with you. And what keeps happening is, you'll ask me a question, then you interrupt. And when I try to be able to actually answer that question, then you accuse me of talking too much. But if you ask I mean, me a question, you, if you, 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 you excuse me, you're things. doing it right now. You're doing it right now. Oh, nice. Nice meme. I love that. I mean, yeah. Is that, is that a problem? Do you think you have a problem that I talk too much? I, I mean, gish galloping is a thing. Like, you, you don't really stay on topic. Yeah. You think, you think I, wait, where have I gish galloped? Give me a specific example of where so I've gish galloped. So, I asked you whether you would stop your own child from Robloxing themselves. And then you yes. said yes. And then I, the second question- That's was, a direct answer! And, and, Hans, that's and, not and, a and, fucking gish gallop, dude. And, 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 and then the second question- This is so which, stupid. Which you refused dude, to answer come the fuck was, on. You are you in you favor that... of a state interceding to stop someone from Robloxing themselves if oh, wait, their wait, parents wait. won't do it? Oh, that's a yes hold on a question. second. Wait, wait, do you want to watch Back the Bot? I challenge you to go watch Back the Bot because wait. if you go back and watch Back the Bot, you didn't let me finish that answer at all. Not even close. I, I didn't even I get mean, half you through. What? Stuff. You're doing it again. You're doing it again Give me right a now. Coin. Literally every single time I respond, yes. you start to interrupt me before I can even answer. This okay. is incredibly frustrating. That's true. I don't think Demon Mama ever gish galloped here. Uh, maybe you could make a claim about evasiveness, but that's not gish galloping. Demon Mama talks a lot, um, but that's also not gish galloping. Gish galloping is when you throw out a quick flurry of poorly substantiated points in an attempt to confuse your opponent and make it difficult for them to respond to all of them. Um, if anything, because Hans is the one proposing the questions, he's actually closer to gish galloping than she is, even if she talks more than he does. Great. Right, and I know, and, and, and it's like funny, I guess, I guess, like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, I literally don't want to engage with you anymore. I actually okay. think this is one of the worst. I, I'm disappointed personally because like, cool. and, and whatever, like you can say like, you can say that's whatever, but I came on here because you invited me on. You wanted to have a talk about this and I've really genuinely tried to engage. I don't think I've thrown any I don't think you did, uh, but that's totally Really? Okay. Where, wait, wait, I can know, you tell I, me I, where? I know wait. you're disappointed in you're me. Just, I mean, what? you but, you made fun of like the, uh, the concept of like getting a kid to go to school, even though you agreed okay. that like in certain situations. Wait, did I make fun it, of that? Yes, you did. You, I don't think you engaged with the question. Uh, you talked about like how to, in, in regards to like what's the important thing, I explained to you that like not having an education what in society is, is literally life crippling for children. Wait, wait, and, and you I never engage with that? Yeah, you didn't engage with that whatsoever. I did literally engage with that. 
I lit like I don't know. Just watch back the watch back the vod. Like I don't know. This is like this is absurd. I I genuinely did not expect like this level of of actual bad faith from you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, well I don't think you are. What I'm is not. all that? I think you're, I think you're exactly. That's what I thought. Right, so hold on. Uh, I can, I can and that's get where that. we will end this. That. Oh, that was that was excellent. Oh Jesus. He said we were done, so I, so I, so I took her out of the speaking to Hans thing. <laughs> All right. Nice ass meme. All right. Uh. Okay. Hold on. Conclusions? Well, in terms of the, um, in terms of the actual positions held, I'm going to side with Hans more so than Demon Mama. In terms of the actual conduct and the framing of the debate, it was worthless because the actual important questions weren't answered. You know, talking about like, how children would behave in certain situations, or how much you could expect them to act in their own self-interest. These questions were left unanswered, uh, which, you know, don't do the thing. Okay, I thought it was gonna frog me. I didn't want to be frogged. Um, which are the tough questions? The difficult questions, the questions which, by the way, you can't really meaningfully substantiate in this context. You're basically arguing like theory, child psych, psychology theory you know we're in the edge case here so anyway with regards to performance hans definitely seemed to delight in the antagonism here which does even if it's not bad faith it does come off as kind of weird and it does lend some scrutiny to some of his behaviors if that makes any sense or to put it another way it contributes to the reasons why a person might view him unfavorably after this um, because he see, he seems to delight somewhat in in the antagonism and in the you know in the in the conflict and there's performativity on all sides here. Um, Demon Mama is a pretty performative person. Hans is a pretty performative person. Hans's performativity came off a bit malicious to me, which I'm not positively inclined towards. I do th still think his positions were more correct. Um, Demon Mama felt pretty evasive at some points, you know? It feels like a lot of these questions, while complicated, like, in the context of the discussion, it kind of demands a direct, immediate, forceful answer. You know what I mean? Uh, sometimes. With, like, the Roblox thing, for example, like, state intervention, you know? You have to understand the fear that some people have, you know? If we get rid of these systems, is it just anarchic in the hyperbolic worst way you know can ki kids just out in the street like killing themselves or whatever because the state because it's coercion to stop them and it makes it seem as though the opposition to coercion is almost deontological you know like coercion is bad ergo any other thing which isn't coercive is better even if it's not better you know what i mean i'm not a deontologist so that's not favorable to me. However, I don't think that Demon Mama actually thinks that way. A lot of it could have also been flustering. It was a short conversation where the unimportant elements of the topic were focused on, so... I, um... I don't know. Maybe at some point in the future I will talk about this with Demon Mama, and I'm sure it will be extremely productive. 